at least 200,000 people are at risk of being made homeless by the government in Port Harcourt in Nigeria. Imagine a situation where a community of people gather, use their own resources in order to reclaim land from the sea, and over time they build houses. They're not perfect. Most of them are slums. But these are people who are trying to survive, to have a living. And then overnight, the government decides that that is prime real estate. They move in with bulldozers, with the police armed to the teeth, shooting indiscriminately in a place populated by young children, old people unable to walk, people who are ill, who are lying in their houses. And imagine being shot at and being wounded by a bullet that you don't know where it came from. How many people they came here? They come break this man and the window. They come that come out, come out, all of the military where they want to face us. Come out. Immediately later, we don't come here. Last year there was an eviction in Bundu Ama. I can tell you the people were terrified. The police came with armored personnel carriers, with guns. They were shooting indiscriminately. The boy was lying down here. I opened this my dance. I was talking to him. They said, cool down, you will not die. You will not die. I was give, encouraging that you will not die. Wait. You will not die that wait. Twelve people were injured. At least one person was killed. And the authorities have not initiated any investigation. If anything, the authorities insist that Bundu Ama will be demolished, as will all the other waterfronts, and that they will continue to use extreme force. This is prime real estate. It has become profitable to sell this land to private developers. And unfortunately, the government is not making plans to ensure that those that are made homeless are provided with alternative homes or that they're actually given other resources in order for them to be able to have adequate shelter. They fear for the tomorrow. They have no hope that they'll be able to have a roof over their heads. Children fear that they'll not be able to go to any school or if they fall sick, that they'll be able to go to any hospital. They don't know what their future holds all because the authorities are hell-bent on destroying their homes and their future. The state, in its wisdom, decided that they want to forcibly evict people from their homes, not provide alternative accommodation, not provide any of the amenities that you and I will take for granted, schools, hospitals, transport, shelter over people's heads. This is unacceptable. It has to stop. The authorities must be responsible. This can't go on. They must make sure that they have policies and laws to prevent forced evictions. The police must not use excessive force when carrying out evictions. And it is important that whatever plans are put in place to develop the waterfront, the individuals who are affected, the people that are affected, must be provided with alternative accommodation. Those who are most vulnerable in society, the old, the unemployed, um, people who are ill, special provisions must be put into place to make sure that they have adequate accommodation.